hey you all welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for stopping by so today we're gonna make some chicken and some pasta and here i have chicken with garlic already i have some sunflower oil salt spaghetti sauce curry powder some onions the spaghetti tomatoes chilies onion powder some thai spices i don't know what to call it and then we have some cabbage and we have some garlic and the onion so we're gonna start with making the the chicken uh, and the chicken i just removed from the freezer i don't microwave it i just put it in in the in the cooking pot and then i put the garlic so i'm gonna put some salt and water so i put more water for deep frozen and for cooking not sorry not deep frozen and cooking so so there you go so i'm gonna cover it and then i'm gonna put on heat so i'll get it i'll see you back when the chicken the water is dried and the chicken is frying okay cheers now I have I want to put the onions. I'm sorry, not the onions, but the tomatoes. I'm gonna put tomatoes and tomatoes and some chili and curry. I already put some spices. Then after that, we're gonna make some vegetables and then pasta at the end. Okay. So I have the end product, the chicken, and I think I put too too much tomatoes. So I'm gonna make the cabbage now. I already chopped the cabbage. Use the cabbage. But I'm not going to mix, I'm gonna cook separate. So let us make the cabbage now. The chicken is ready, so let us make the cabbage. So for the cabbage, that's a vegetable, I'm gonna put cooking oil first. I'll not put tomatoes, I put cooking oil. I think that's enough. And then I have with me this one. This in Kenya we call it a Royka cube. I'm gonna put this one and onions and some garlic and some salt. That's it for the vegetables. That is what I'm gonna put for the vegetables. So first we let the oil heat a little bit, and then we're gonna put the onions first because when you put garlic and onions together, the garlic like yeah, I don't know how to say that. Jesus Christ. Oh. My nail came out, the, 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 the gel started coming out, so I need to fix it, I think. So let this, the onions fry and let be a little bit brown and then you add some garlic on it. I think you should put garlic now because they have started being brown. And then now I'll put some salt and some Rico cube. This is called a Rico cube. Best flavor. I did not put the whole cube because it's too much and the 
the vegetables that too little so I just put a little bit So I don't cook my cabbage too much, just like two minutes and I remove because it's vegetable and if you overcook then the nutrients go away. So I'm gonna let it a little bit just even I think two minutes too much, like one and a half minutes and then I'm gonna show you the end product. I have the end product, I'm done cooking it just like after one minute. This is the end product and in this one I put onions garlic and royco cubes royco cubes is a spice in kenya so i'm done with this now i have to put my spaghetti for the spaghetti pasta this one i'm just going to use water and salt and some little bit of oil so i put water i have to let my water boil and then i'm gonna put salt And then I'm gonna wait. Put so a little bit of salt. That's okay. For the pasta, I put it like a whole, whole pasta. I don't cut. And I cook for one. And I, I am cooking for lunch and dinner. So I think that's enough. And now I'll I'll cover it and let it like boil and till it's like ready. Oh sorry. As I told you guys, I'm not a pro cooker, so <laughs> I'm just I just made a video of me cooking because today is a holiday here and I just wanted to take some time on YouTube. So we let it cook five minutes I guess, not even five. Then we're gonna put the we're gonna put the spaghetti sauce be cool. And I'll not put I will not put the I'll not put the cheese because I think I'm not in the mood for cheese today. So my spaghetti is almost done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the sauce in and That's enough. Let's see. It smells really good, the sauce. So I think that's enough sauce. I'll let the sauce like cook a little bit and I'll just a little bit in it. it smells like pizza the sauce smells like pizza so that's it and inside my spaghetti sauce i put oil in it someone told me that when you put oil in the spaghetti sauce it doesn't spoil even when it's in the fridge so uh, sometimes you have to follow the wise ones you know but positive wise things what's or what's wise advice if you don't know something so that's it we wait for it so this is my final product and it looks really yummy I didn't expect that. So this is my my final product. You can see they're like one 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 one. So and I'm team bowl. I eat on a bowl. So I'm gonna serve myself and enjoy my food. 
hope you enjoyed this video kindly consider to subscribe like share and comment have a good day